I used to do a market research for all products in Ecuador. And when I left the embassy, I tried all the products. I started seeing the interest and, and the beauty of the Panamas. So I went to Ecuador, I lived with the weavers for a while, fell in love with them, I came back, I cleaned my desk for any imports that I was doing at the time. I uh, decided to concentrate only in Panamas. Mum's always talked about the weavers as artists that have no idea how good they are, how skilled they are. Um, they produce something over a period of one or two days and it's a work of art. Learning the trade is knowing the product and offering with the same uh, love and passion that I feel. There are people obviously who make the Panamas, they're the star of the show. But for somebody to understand what happens from when the weaver finishes a piece of woven fabric and actually understand the customer, the person who's wearing it, whether they want a certain weave, a certain quality of style, um, I would consider Mum one of the global experts without a shadow of a doubt. We've chosen deliberately to continue making hats the traditional way, partly because Mum collected machines over many years from the traditional hat makers in the town of Luton. We use machines that are over 100 years old to make our Panamas and we recycle the offcuts of the hats as we want nothing to go to waste. Our 17 Guineas collection can otherwise be seen in a museum, but in our factory our hat makers prefer these above any modern versions. I was, out of our three sisters, the least likely to join the family business. I had a career in a multinational, so when I decided to come back to the UK and come back to my roots, it became more apparent that the family business was an option. I've been in the business for six years, Mum's been in the business for 35 years, and I will always turn to her to add the knowledge that she has on these beautiful products. It's taken many years for her to develop that. The future for us is focusing on what's special about us, which is made in England, made by hand by weavers who work in a cottage industry, work independently, not in a factory, not mass produced. And those special things about our business attract customers to us. And that is thanks to Mum's ability to see into the future what we might need for stock and what straw we can have in our stock room that can be made into beautiful hats. Nobody else has what we have in that regard.